Okay, a straight wire with a length uh, of 0 0.65 meter and mass uh, 75 gram is placed in a uniform magnetic field of 1.62 Tesla. If the current flowing in the wire is perpendicular to the field, magnetic field, calculate the current required to balance the wire. Uh, to balance the wire. So uh, here the question asks for let's find out what the question asks. You want us to find the current. We need to find the current that balance. Balance means um, uh, if balance means uh, something like total force equal to zero. Okay, total force equal to zero. So uh, that means it it has uh, several forces. Uh, since you want to balance the wire, uh, means it has several force interact with, with each other until the resultant you get zero. Yeah, the resultant force you get zero. So that means there must be more than one force. More, more than one force. Okay, it also gives us the length, length of the wire, gives us a mass. Oh, this mass means it must have weight. Uh, it must have the weight, weight equal to mg. Understand? Uh, it must have the weight mg uh, and this is the magnetic field it gives us a magnetic field uh, so now you have a current flowing current flowing in the magnetic field is like charge flowing you know current is like you know charge current is like um you know current is actually flow of positive charge okay uh, flow of positive charge a uh, charge is flowing in the magnetic field. Uh, flowing in the magnetic field. Uh, magnetic field. That means uh, when you have charge flowing in the magnetic field, you have force, isn't it? Uh, and then he say his here is perpendicular. Uh, so perpendicular. So he say the current between the current and magnetic field. Uh, between the current and magnetic field, they are perpendicular. Uh, between the current and the field is perpendicular. Okay. Uh, so let us uh okay information I already write down here. We have the length, mass, magnetic field. Okay. Uh, yeah, current is perpendicular to the field. Uh, so what it means? Uh, it means theta equal to ninety. Is it correct? Okay. First of all, let us look at the equation for uh magnetic force on current carrying conductor. Uh, the, the equation is uh, I L cross B. Uh, again, B is behind. Yeah, I like to remember B as behind. Uh, the sequence is important. Uh, uh, it's different uh, if you say uh, B cross L uh, is different. Uh, yeah? uh, it's, uh, you cannot write B cross L. It must be L cross B. Uh, B behind. Uh, I remember like that. Okay? And then... Um, um since uh, it's l cross b l cross b so the angle theta must be between l and b you understand uh you want if you want to know theta what's the angle theta uh between which party so we see what cross what uh for this magnetic force for this case it is l cross b so theta must be between l and b uh, between the angle theta must be between the wire and magnetic field. Uh, understand? Uh, but for this case, uh, uh, this L, the direction of L refer to direction of the current. Uh, yeah? Direction of the wire, it still looks at the direction of the current. Okay? So this theta can also represent by uh, angle between current and magnetic field. Because you want to talk about wire, the length of wire, uh, the direction of the length is referring the current also. Okay? Uh, so this theta is actually, actually angle between current and magnetic field. Uh, just now he says that the current is perpendicular to the field, uh, current perpendicular to the field. So, so that's why theta is uh, 90 degree. Uh, theta is 90 degree. Huh? So... Uh, B I L bill, you see B bill, very easy to remember. Sine theta, uh, yeah, cross product always use sine. So it's sine ninety, sine ninety equal to one. Uh, so normally, uh, 
when we have a value sine 90 is always considered to be maximum uh, so magnetic force is maximum at this angle 90 degree okay so in fact this bill is the maximum value okay now um uh, so this is the way the one uh, yeah uh, this is the current conductor so this is the magnetic field um uh the magnetic field i not, don't know what direction i just write going into the page uh the wire is uh, the wire is perpendicular to the field uh, so correct yeah your wire is perpendicular to the field yeah weight always go downward uh so w equal to mg go downward so what do you think keeps this wire in balance uh, without dropping uh, without dropping down yeah without uh, going downward okay why it doesn't drop uh, drop uh, due to the weight uh, because there must be another force upward uh, there must be another force upward to, to support it uh, and this must be the magnetic force uh, yeah, so that's why this uh, magnetic force and the weight cancel each other. Uh, that's why balance uh, total force equal to zero. Understand? Total force equal to zero balance, but we don't want to cancel them. Okay. Um. Uh. The, uh so the key is balance because got another force going upward. So, uh, to have this force upward, yeah, to have this. To have this force on this current conductor, this conductor must have current, understand? Must have current. So uh, the current should be in which direction? Uh, since the force is upward to balance the weight, yeah, the force in order to balance the weight, the force, the magnetic force need to be go upward. Yeah? In order to balance the weight, the magnetic force need to be upward. So if you want the magnetic force going upward, so the current need to travel in what direction? Is the current to the left or current to the right? Uh, let me show you. Yeah? Let me show you here. Okay, I have prepared already. Here. Okay. Let me show you. Yeah? So, yeah, this one. Yeah? This one. Okay. So I have... Uh, the, uh, here you see here. Uh, you have the weight going down. So that means the the force in order to balance this wire, uh, the weight is already going down. So the force need to be going upward. Uh, the force need to be going upward. Uh, okay, magnetic force. Remember, magnetic force need to go upward. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, we know the force is going upward. So magnetic. You see the force going upward. Uh, the magnetic field go into the page. So, what is the direction of the current? What is the direction of the current? Okay. For before we do this, we need to uh, use what rule? We use the right hand rule. Still remember? Uh, let us uh, recall about right hand rule. Uh, we learn this right hand rule for the moving charge, isn't it? Uh, we learn this right hand rule for the moving charge. Um, we learn this for the moving. Uh, charge uh, now uh, we're going to use this for current also okay for current also so uh, last time we said that uh, the four finger represent the velocity of the charge uh, and then the thumb uh, means the magnetic force uh, so if it is a positive charge positive charge moving the force ma the force is uh, follow the thumb if it is a negative charge, the force is opposite the thumb. Uh, okay, the palm shows the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, the palm. So, uh, how about the current? Uh, current actually considered what? Uh, current actually is the flow of positive charge. Uh, actually, current is the flow of uh, many, many, many positive charge uh, not just one positive charge or flow of many many positive charge okay uh, so we can consider uh, the current is like the positive charge current is a positive charge 
so uh so that's why my thumb also my uh, my force is also follow the thumb my my force is also follow the thumb because my current um because my current yeah because current is the positive charge you understand current is a positive charge so my force must follow the thumb uh, and the direction of velocity can also be changed to direction of the current uh, the pump the pump is still the magnetic field the pump is still magnetic field uh, understand uh, okay uh, so uh, the force must follow the thumb because current is also positive charge okay the, the force must follow the thumb so velocity can change to current okay so use this one and do this yeah and do this okay so let's uh, go back to this one okay go back to this one now um now uh my thumb is the force understand my thumb is the force okay look at the force my thumb follow the force so magnetic field is my pump uh, my pump is the magnetic field so my magnetic field go into the page okay so my pump should face into the page my pump uh, my pump should face into the page okay my pump should face into the page because magnetic field into the page my force uh, my thumb my thumb follow the force and uh, the force follow the thumb uh, okay so where's my current my forefinger represent the current uh, my current to the my current to the right uh, okay magnetic field into the page force upward and my current to the right uh, so current to the right that's my current okay uh, current magnetic field force uh, okay that's it my current to the right uh, so let's draw it yeah let's draw it my current is to the right my current to the right uh okay understand the current to the right so what else uh let us uh, now solve it yeah we need to find the current actually i already have the direction current to the right now is we want to find the magnitude um so okay so we know that uh total force equal to zero that means um magnetic force is positive the weight is negative because going downward the weight uh, so fb equal to the weight uh, we know that the mag mag magnetic force is bil uh, so it's just bil equal to the weight which is mg uh, so uh, i need to find the current uh, i just substitute all the rest of the values so magnetic field is uh, 1.62 uh, so substitute in 1.62 and uh, current i need to find current length is uh, length is 0 0.65 0 0.65 okay 0 0.65 and then i have the mass the mass is uh, yeah the mass of the wire 0 0.075 0 0.075 and then gravity is 9.81 ah so i can get my current so my current is 0 0.699 ampere that's my current my and then i need to say my current direction is uh to the right I uh, need to set the current to the right. Okay, is that correct? Uh, yeah, 0 0.70, yeah, which is also 0 0.699, almost equal, yeah? And direction to the right. Okay, so that's it for these questions. Thank you.